sticks. You've hit four shots and you already stepped on my sticks. You take it back the right distance? No. Not if you don't tell yourself what to do, you're not. It's the same thing as what you were just doing over there. It's process. Because you're not telling yourself what to do. You're just trying to do it. It doesn't work that way. It never does. It never will. I want you to focus. That's not focus. Hat to the ground. Focus. I don't. I expect you to focus. You're landing. Yeah, that's not focus. You've done this a thousand times at least in your life. That means I'm too cool. Thousand times you've done. It. Go slower if you have to. It was gonna hit me. You can fight the process all you want, or you can do what I'm telling you to do. Closer. You keep getting closer to me when you do that. Get between the sticks. like that we leave. Matthew Connor, you didn't even do your setup, so don't even talk to me about setup. You don't want me to start picking on your setup, do you? Hey, what do you know?
That's a bogey. It's 20 feet by the hole. That's a bogey. Yeah, you can't make a three footer. What makes you think you make a 20 footer? <laughs> Over there again, we leave. You understand? There. You really shouldn't talk right now. It's amazing what happens when you do what you're told. Arms. Or I should say all hands. Go for it. Didn't you? Yeah, you hit three. You hit three times in the basket out of six tries. This time will be four out of seven. Next time will be five out of eight. If you hit those in a row. Now you try to control it. The other two you did it without control. Can you let me focus? Why'd you change? Why close your eyes when you cross the road? Don't control it. Look what happens. So what is that? Don't try to control it. Set up that time. I didn't do my 
Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, I did. Come on. Everyone you hit your basket on, you did your set on. What do you know? <laughs> it's really dumb, isn't it? <laughs> it's dumb. Don't you think it's like really dumb that when you listen to me, you do well, and when you don't, you don't? Why are you skipping your setup again? You just prove to yourself that following it makes you better. Why change? Why are you getting closer and closer and closer to me? I'm not. You are. You're supposed to be between the sticks. I don't know. I counted 10 paces from one step inside the sticks. So now you're trying to hit a 10 yard shot, 9 yards. Get between the sticks and do your shot. Get back between the sticks. got another one. You hit nine balls, you hit it five times, followed in all your routines, and then you stop doing your setup. Why? Why? Ask yourself why. Because you don't think you need to do it anymore because you're good. What makes you good is the routine. gets better than that is one inch short. <laughs> That's it. Follow your routine. I know. Not bad. Still went perfectly straight in that spin. Keep going the same place. I hear you. Area. That's a little baby T cell on your part. That's why you hit that same shot over and over. Look how much power you have. You turn on your toe. Meaning you can take it back to the inside of your thigh where 10 yards is, not the outside.
right by the basket. That's how easy this is. You follow your routine and you know what you're doing. Try to control that one.
Go quick! Somewhere right in there. Right? So this is this is 20. It's like this is 10. Right in there, right? Right here? Yeah, but don't hood it. Remember what Brian said? This replies to a 7 iron too. Understand? And that's 22 yards. That's where it should be. Put them right here in a nice rest. Follow your routine. Remember the shot you had in the tournament that you didn't do very good? and you had to chip out with your seven, you chumped it and you hit the rock. Oh. This is the shot you're practicing, right? This is the rock. Why are you putting your hands for it? This is a chip shot. Good. Follow your whole it's routine. It's like speeding like 60 miles. It's okay, we want it to roll. We know it's gonna roll. I'm accounting for that, but we need it to land. Don't get quick. It's a chip shot. You don't need power. You have a long club in your hand. Like this? Just like your chips. Normal chip, 15 yard chip swing with a 7 iron. That was more like a 20 yard chip shot. You need to control your distance. Right? There's no there's no secret to it. It's a 15 yard chip, I promise. That was exactly my right distance. Tell yourself. Tell yourself. What to do. Set up properly. Whoa! Set up. You were about to swing. Awesome. You almost hit the basket. 22 <laughs> yards. It's hard. You're right. I'm going super fast. Well, slow down even more. Get your grip on even better. Set up even better. It's hard to make the seven iron. Be more exact. Skip your setup that time. Why? 
You're worried about this person walking up and not worried about what you're doing. You looked at him four times already. Fine. Focus on what you're doing. Focus. Of course you can. Even if I do my setup, it's going to be... I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. That's the run. That's the flee. I'll show you. Stop trying to flee. Why is it hooded? You're going to make it go too far. You took it back too far. You took it back past halfway. This is supposed to be 15 yards. Show me where 15 yards is. is on the inside of your thigh. 15 is on the outside of your thigh. Yeah, that's 10. Right there's 15. If you hit it good, it will go there. Ah, yeah, why do you think we practice it a lot? Because it's hard. We don't practice 15, we practice 10. You can do 10, you can do 15. Pretty good, we're going to do a couple steps. These are not going to be perfect. They're not going to fly straight. You said if it's not within five feet. Okay. Five steps. Right? That one never got close. You hit the ball, hit the ground two inches behind it. It's a chip shot. Stop thinking it's anything more. As long as you think it's more, it's hooded. Stop. It's because your grip's wrong. All arms. Didn't turn your chest at all. You think it's harder than it is. It's not. You're going to do this shot every day until you get it. You're not going to make another swing until you learn how to do this one. What do you mean, Mom? You don't want to do it. That's all. No, I'm going to have more of these than this. I don't care. Those are, we already know how to do those. These we don't. This one cost you two strokes. chipping to a 10-yard basket. Pretty close. 
You keep beating yourself up over nothing then. It's all about your attitude. You succeeding is all about you. Don't use your hands to stop putting the stupid club. Next time I see it hooded, it's 20. jumping on it. It's a chip shot. It's in your brain. Stop fighting the process. It's hooded. Your grip's on wrong. Give me 20. You turning your wrist after I say it's hooded does not make it not hooded. What's the first thing that Brian told you when you picked up your club? It's hooded. You love to put your grip on wrong. Then don't do it. Three-quarter swing almost. Why? You're not focusing. Five minutes ago, you couldn't miss. Now, because of your brain, you miss everything. Change your mental outlook on what you're doing. Three-quarter swing. You tell me why. Because you're not telling yourself what to do. You refuse to follow the process. The last step in your process is what? You told yourself, but you went too far anyway. Because you got in the habit of going too far. Now it's going to be difficult to bring it back in. Give me a 10 yard chip. Oh, look. Hey. Boom. <laughs> That's weird. It's so at night, it's just going to be boom. Pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> that just like lightened up my brain. Like, I thought you were pointing over there. <laughs> nope, I looked over there and was like, huh? Awesome. And the teeth. <laughs> Give me a 10 yard chip. Remember, remember that if you use a sandwich and you make a 15-yard chip, and we think it's how far... Easy. Hold on. Don't swing. I want to talk to you. Okay. When you make a 15-yard sandwich chip shot, how close, is it, how close does it take it to be to be... Okay. What do you think? No, but how far away would you allow yourself to be with a 15-yard chip? Mm -hmm. Of a good one. A limit of a good one. About two feet. About two feet with a sandwich. Yes. Now we have a seven iron. Guess what that turn two feet turns into? Sixteen. Maybe eight, ten feet. So if you're within eight, ten feet of that thing, it's the same as being two feet with a sandwich. If I gave you a hybrid, it turned into twenty feet. Because it's that much harder. That was awesome. If you can get to two feet with a seven iron, you're the man. If you can get to 10 feet with a 7 iron, it's pretty darn good. So focus up and do what you got to do. Stop thinking you have to hit the basket with a 7 iron for God's sakes. <laughs> yeah. Hitting the green with a 7 iron is hard. <laughs> you want to hit a basket. I want you to focus. That's all I want from you. I want focus and hard work and the right attitude. What else you're practicing right now besides the shot? My swing. Your 15 yard chip. Without even knowing it. And you're also getting used to hitting low runners, aren't you? Yeah. Or bumping. Or bumping runs, whatever you want to call it, with a 7 iron. Flat shots with a 7 iron. <laughs> I 
looking at that. It's cool. I wish I had that on my room that said Matt Polygon <clears throat> Orange Flames. <clears throat> Do not enter. <clears throat> it is on fire. <clears throat> Do not enter. It is on fire. <clears throat> you should put that okay, Dad? Right above my door. Not bad. Slow down. Remember, it's just a chip shot. Right? Take it back to 15 and we turn. That's all there is. Are you going to hit any other shot? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see how good you are at hitting this shot. I need to know that when we have this shot that you think it's easy. Oh, it looks, it, it seems like we're doing like trick shots. We're not, we're doing recovery shots. But when you hit bad shots, they don't cost you more shots. Like This is something you use, could use a lot, especially in the summertime. Especially in the summertime. When the trees are full of leaves and you can't go up anymore, you have to go low. I used to go up and go through bridges. Yeah. That's when they're lovely. full of leaves, you, that doesn't happen. So you have to do thick. It rolls about just over half more. So what other club do you hit 60 yards? Niner. This is the same as Blink as a Niner. Oh, I didn't say you hit that farther. What are you doing? Oh, that's not what you're doing. We want it to roll to the end of the fairway, not fly. We want it to roll, fly to the bucket. Roll to the end of the fairway.
know is you're supposed to pay attention to where you're at. And if it's wrong, don't swing. How do you pay attention when you're not looking? You should feel it. You should know if your hands are chest high or not. Focus. Thank you. That's three quarter. Why is it going to the star? Well, don't hold on. Well, it can't be perfect. Well, you could be better than that. I know. You weren't holding on with the chip shots. Why are you holding on now? There's no difference. It's hooded. Still hooded. Full swing again. Focus. You need to take a break. From chipping. I haven't took a break. I don't care. You see the sound? You got about five more swings before it's dark out. Feeling when you didn't get a medal last week? Remember that, right? Last. Remember that one? Watching them get theirs. Yeah, remember that. When you say you need to take a break. You can't hit a ball. Because you're not going to your, you skip your setup that time. Focus. Setup really did. Start over. Pay attention to what you're doing. Stop worrying about me. Well, you're talking. 50. Smart pants. We're not out here for me. We're out here for you. If we were out here for me, you wouldn't be here. Why would I let you come here if I'm going to practice? Because all you do is run your mouth and I have to watch you like a little baby. So you don't throw people's stuff in the garbage. So you don't tear up the greens. That's why. That's why I can't play golf. Because you can't be trusted to do what you're supposed to do. Why? Ask yourself. I don't know. Can you ask it? It's hooded. You didn't even pay attention to it. Three quarter only. Mr. I'm going to kick sand out of divots and not focus in the middle of the tournament. Mr. I'm going to watch somebody bounce a ball down a cart path because I got nothing better to do while I'm in a tournament. That's called focus. Mr. I'm going to walk behind my caddy 30 yards because I don't want to look at my ball. That's called focus. If you were focusing, you'd be staring at where it went, you'd be chasing after it, looking for it, ready to hit the next one. That's focus. Again.
grip. Start over. Open your right hand. Let me see your thumb. Hip and shoulder. Don't move your head back. Hey, a high draw. What do you know? You don't hit it any better than that. You can't hit it any better than that. Grip. Take your hand off the club and put it back on. I want to see you put it on the right way. You can't be trusted. Hip and shoulder without moving your head. This is not a start over. You don't do it wrong and fix it. You do it right the first time. I draw. I can see it. All you need to see is that ball right in front of you. Let's go. Get about one hour of practice and three hours to do. You got one hour of practice in today. Grip. Three in a row. You'll, you'll learn. After I keep making you do it over and over and over. Real quick. It would have been the left side. You pulled it a little bit. You saw your bell button wasn't behind you? Mm -hmm. mm. Slow down. one and you're too fast you have to go even slower the next time not speed up hip and shoulder head I see your butt pointed that way so I know you went you're leaning on your front foot right now so you, you went you went like that no 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 here we go 50 50 weight you said that's when you're chipping. Oh. And then you're in the sand. It's on the front foot. Not in the regular swing. In the regular swing, that causes you to pull it even more. Understand? 50 50 weight. If you lean on your front foot, you can't get back. Let's go. Focus. shoulder. Quick. Took it back great. Took it back great and just went mm, as hard as you could at the ball. Yeah, you did. You did. Lightning fast. Grip. Hip it shoulder. I'm tired of saying it. That's how you hit the ball. The high draw. It goes to the right, drops to the left. That's a draw. You don't want it to go left. It started right, so it comes back to the line. That's why you don't put your club up. You open it just a hair. Hip it shoulder.
Storyline. Go ahead and focus. Grip. better with your hip. Yep. It's because of here. Hey, this. Oh. It should go straight down. You should just let it, you have to keep your L when it comes down. You don't release it. Relax your grip even more. Thank you. I, I barely saw that. Crushed it. We're straight at the yellow flag. Get one more. No, Find one. Find one. Huh? Find one right over there. At the end of the range, right where you were chipping. Bring that basket back with you. Let's go kill the basket. <clears throat> 